Hi, I'm JD, and we're going to be doing today are adding and subtracting fractions. I'm going to show you how to do that by using cross multiplication. So let's start with uh, three fifths plus one third. The way that you would do this is multiply diagonally. So three times three is nine plus. 5 times 1 is 5, and then for your denominator, multiply the 5 and the 3, that gives you 15. Now add these together, 9 plus 5 is 14, so that's 14 fifteenths. Now, with something like this, uh, with 9 plus 5, you can do that in your head. So it would be 14, and then 5 times 3 is 15, so 14 fifteenths. Now let's look at that 1 6 plus 2 fifteenths. This would be 1 times 15, which is 15. 6 times 2 is 12. Now what we can do next is just do 6 times 15. We might be able to simplify it. So let's do the top. So that's uh, 15 plus 12, which is 27. So that's 27 over 6 times 15. Now we have factors, and now we can cancel things out with the 27. So. 3 goes in the both 6 and 27. So 3 goes in the 6 twice. 3 goes in the 27 nine times. I can do the same thing with this 15. Uh, 3 goes in both 9 and 15. So 3 goes into 9 three times. And then 3 goes into 15 five times. So my uh, numerator, that's 3, 2 times 5 is 10. So that's 3 tenths. Subtraction, you do the same thing. 8 times 5 is 40. 12 times 3 is 36. Uh, with the denominator, I'm just going to leave it as 12 times 8 we might be able to cancel things out. Uh, subtract these. Uh, 40 minus 36 is 4. It's 12 times 8. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll do the 8. So 4 can go into either of them. You just want to do it once. So 4 goes into 4 once. 4 goes into 8 twice, so that's 1 in my numerator, and then 12 times 2 is 24. And that's adding and subtracting using cross multiplication. If you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. All right, bye.